Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. If we were to go back to areas after seeing that cutscene, as you can tell, we're all locked in. So there's only one way to go at this point in the game. Now, does that mean we've actually missed out on 100%ing the game? No. And you're going to see how that's possible. Soon. <laughs> Fairly soon, I should say. Well, anyway, here we go. Back to the main deck, we gotta change the ship's coordinates to go to SR388. So here we go. Yep. Oh, oh, I thought I was gonna charge up. <laughs> oh well, it looks like I was starting to charge up my run, but anyway, here's the point that we had to bust through the wall when the elevator went offline and we got stuck in it. Remember that? Ah, good times. Good times. And we also seen the X take Ridley on and whatnot. I mean, take Ridley's DNA and whatnot. Good times. Good times. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just kind of messing around here on my trek back over to where I need to go. I am on the right path, aren't I? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Alrighty. I think I'm going to leave that gray room up there for a little bit later. So, yeah. <laughs> The reason why is because I'm going to be coming through here later on anyway. Just saying. Let's go. <laughs> and I'm already recharged. I don't need to use the recharge room. I can just go right straight up to the elevator. And I'm not even well, not even bothering with navigation rooms because we already know our objective. We already heard the dialogue. We can go. We can go. Oh yeah. So here we go. <laughs> Operations deck, remember this is all the uh, special rooms, I've got the data room, navigation room, save room, etc, etc. The, the atmosphere seems quite different, and this is kind of blocked off now. This is weird, but I'm gonna get the squares in this upper corners here, and uh oh uh oh uh oh oh uh oh no, it's the SAX! What is- oh, where'd you come from? What- what- how did you- what- where- Everything's locked down. This is craziness. Hey, did you break through another wall again? Oh, jeez. Well, we can actually battle it by using charge shots of our faithful uh, plasma beam wave combo. <laughs> Eventually, it will run out of health before you do, even if you're doing a reckless strategy like this. Well, actually, it does do a lot of damage to you at once, so you can't be too reckless with it. Uh, an alternate strategy that I like to use is just to wait for it to land on that platform and then shoot it. Yeah, because it, it doesn't typically shoot at you from the ground all that often. Where is it? <laughs> it's like it's trying to find the best vantage point or something like that. Hey, SAX, did you give up already? Oh, no, you didn't. Not in the slightest. <laughs> By the way, you can't hit it when it is doing the screw attacks, obviously. So, yeah, it's a matter of timing it. Timing your shots when it's on the ground. And uh, you can also freeze it with ice missiles, as we've uh, used before in the, in the past, you know, to stall it. But this is the first time that we've actually been able to do damage to this son of a... Oh, never mind. <laughs> land, land, land! Oh, come on! <laughs> come on, come on. There's probably a better strategy than what I'm using here, but... Well, it's, it's okay, I guess. Oh, whoop, ooh, there we go. <laughs> ooh! How did you manage to... Eh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I guess as long as you stay in the air, you're gonna be okay. It looks like we won! We didn't win! <laughs> Shoot his head! Shoot his head! It sort of looks like a whore node. Like a really mutated whore node. But it's really weak boss. <laughs> it's like it's... This is its desperation. It's weak because you can't... I mean, it can't hurt you when you are, um... Uh, screw attacking in the air. It's really weird. It looks a lot more threatening than the SAX, but it's so, so much easier. And of course, now we got another Core X going on here with uh, the ice power up here. Ice beam power up. Yeah, we're just gonna try and do my looping strategy here. Eventually, I shall win, and I have won. Gimme, 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 gimme. No, no, come, 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 come back here. Come back here. <sighs> that stinker. Alright, let's move on. <laughs> so, <laughs> all I want to do is go to this corner and get a couple more squares on our map here. Let's plop over here and change our course. 
propulsion. Three minutes to impact. What? We're that close to the planet? Oh my god. <laughs> Arceus, help me. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. Get back to the ship. Hurry, hurry, hurry. No time to lose. Gotta move. Use the elevator. No, no elevator music because we shouldn't be going this slow. The clock is ticking. Go, 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 go! That's the elevator music that it should be if there's elevator music. Just go, 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 go! Hurry to the ship! Oh, I took a wrong turn. Oh, that's not good. That's terrible, actually. <laughs> Gotta go! This way, I forgot. It's been a while since I've been here. I should've just checked my map, probably. Wait, 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 can I recharge before I go to my ship? Just for kicks? Can I really? Oh, that's interesting, but the clock still took- it still goes! Still goes! <laughs> it's actually pointless to recharge and you'll see why. <laughs> I just wanted to see if you could do that. Anyway, to go this way this time. Go! No way, it's not that way! I'm lost! Hopelessly lost! Uh, at least the timer pauses when I'm here, okay. <laughs> so straight over to the left and then down when I can go down and then right. Got it! I knew I had to go right at some point, but... Well... My rights were not rights before. <laughs> Alright, now we can run! And run! And shine spark if we'd like to! Well, not really. It's kind of... It'd be kind of difficult to set up in such uh, conditions. <laughs> anyway, now we can go back through here. This is broken up. This is... Why, why is this broken up? This is... This is odd. And where's where's my ship? And what... Why? What is this? What's this doing here? What... What is... Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! The actual final boss! The Omega Metroid! And it seems immune to everything! Everything! Ow! Eh. Ah! Uh, uh, low health beep! My weakness! Uh, why low health beep? Why? Uh, it's the SAX! Once again! Yes! Take it on! Take it on! You natural predator! Take it out! No! Ah! Oh. Yeah. I'll take you though! Woo! And now you're at full power! Eat my ice beam! So much. So little time left that I'm putting down. No! No, let me! It's an epic battle to the finish! Ah! Ah! I win! I win! Come on, ship, get back to me! How did you even get away from me anyway? Do you have an AI of your own or something? This is crazy. But I made it! Whoa, <sighs> yeah! Yes! Game beaten! Except it's not a 100% though. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah. That perfect military mind, the wisdom of Adam Malkovich, still continued to serve even after death. Until today, I had no idea that the minds of leaders and scientists were frequently uploaded to computers. My incredible reunion with Adam may have saved the universe. But how will the beings of the universe view our resolve? I doubt they will understand what we did, the danger we barely averted. They will hold tribunals and investigations. They will hold us responsible. Adam understood this, and he spoke to me in my anger. Do not worry. One of them will understand. One of them must. I've reflected upon his words and I see the wisdom in them. We are all bound by our experiences. They are the limits of our consciousness. But in the end, the human soul will ever reach for the truth. This is what Adam taught me. Just one detail still bothers me. The ship can only be started manually. Yet, before I faced the Omega Metroid, the ship moved on its own, guided by someone's hands. Is it possible? Adam? Hmm. Mm? Lady, what's troubling you? You wonder how I started the ship? Just think about it. 
they lent me a hand. Who might they be? Oh, it's the critters that were resting in our ship! Yep! They helped after all. <laughs> and there we go! Obviously, there's a little bit more to the walkthrough that I have yet to do, but... But, the story is over. <laughs> and these guys made the game, I did not, I just made the walkthrough to help and entertain people. I hope I showed you how awesome this game was as well in the process. By far one of my favorite Game Boy Advance games of all time. It just has such a nice flow to it, I mean yeah, it's one of the most linear Metroid games out there which some people critiqued it for, but the, the way that it's designed, it just really, really keeps you hooked into it. <laughs> I like that. Like, it's just... It's a really fast-paced, linear game. <laughs> Even if you are, um... Like, searching for stuff to 100% and whatnot. Like, as you've seen, it only took me... Um, three parts to clear out the remaining areas. Uh, you know, the stuff that I had to, uh... Um, screw attack through and whatnot that weren't open until I got the screw attack to me, so yeah, and always, always remember to 100% your games for the full experience. Well, actually, maybe not. <laughs> Some games are really annoying to 100%, but I do think that uh, the, the better games that are better about 100%ing like this one are um, more worthy of 100%ing, because it's fun to try and figure out the puzzles to get everything along the way, basically. Some of the secrets in this game were sort of ridiculous, I gotta admit, but uh, I think the overall game experience is still pretty dang good. The end to the credits. <laughs> and now... You'll get different endings based on your completion level and how much like how fast you've beaten the game basically like this is the helmet off ending it was very difficult to get a very fast clear time when you're making a walkthrough of a said game and you're if you want to get the absolute quote unquote best ending um, you gotta beat the game in under two hours at uh, 100%, and that's two hours in-game time, so since the in-game clock is rather slow, um, you know, <laughs> it's not really gonna give you um, all that much of an issue uh, getting under two hours if you actually know where everything is, unless you're really, really stumbling around or making a walkthrough. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, so now about that... I want extra 100%ing sort of thing here. Well, if you go back to your save file, you notice that there's a nifty little Metroid on your save file. Well, this is a complete save file indicator here. If you if you click continue, don't don't click start over. You're gonna lose your 100%ing. But uh, after you beat the final boss, you'll get that Metroid on your save file. And look at that! The hatches are now open. Which means that we can now go back to earlier areas. Yep, the game played fair with its 100%ing. Like, you know how there's uh, some points in games where you just can't go back and you can't 100% the rest of the game? This game makes you feel like it is, but it's really not. <laughs> because they're like, no, 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 players are gonna want to 100% this, so if we put that Metroid on the the save file, we open up the hatches after they beat the game, they'll be able to go back and do that 100%ing to their heart's content. And uh, that I very much like for my OCD and gaming completion would not be sated. Well, I'm satisfied, but <laughs> whatever you want to say. And, you know, without the 100%ing aspect, and I gotta go, wait, wait, it's gotta go be up. This way, uh, yes, sir. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to go to two, 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 two. You know, ballerina. No, I'm go I'm gonna go up to the room first that had the blocked thingajigger, the blocked door that I said I was gonna go to a little bit later on here. Yeah, these things are weak to power bombs, so you can smash through that sucker. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that means we got. 
Oh, wait, actually, we don't have to do anything here, bomb-wise. We could just jump around here, and we just go in, and we get that, and then we bomb our way out on the way back. Yeah, right here, we gotta go upsy-doodle. Yep, see that square? That's what you gotta do. <laughs> and now I'll see you over at the next location to 100% this game. Actually, the next location was really close to here. I, I forgot to check my notes. Yeah, it's somewhere over here, if I recall correctly. Uh, yep, 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 right over there. And there we go, bomb away. Oh, screw attack, of course. <laughs> Wait, actually, what? what is the thing that I'm missing here? Isn't there something? Oh, okay, it's there. <laughs> or is that just a, a secret room to go through? I thought there was something hidden there. But maybe there isn't. Maybe I was just thinking of something else. Well, I needed to get that square anyway for the 100% complete map anyway, so blah. <laughs> oh, and I guess as long as I'm over here, I could start my trek over to the other side. Uh, yeah, I remember you can go through here. Uh, if you go and do such a thing and you bomb your way back through here, and it's all grandiose. And uh, over back this way, run, 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 run. There is something up there that I forgot. Uh, oh, it's a power bomb thingajigger. Wee! <laughs> and we just gotta go through here. I could have gotten this when I came through here before. I just forgot about it. And there we go. Power bomb tank acquired. All right, remember this red door that we seen really, really early in the game? Guess where it connects to? If you were guessing the reactor silo, you would be correct! <laughs> now, uh, this place, because we removed the vegetation, looks a whole lot different than it did before. <laughs> this is what it looks like when it's actually in working order. Isn't that nice? Isn't it? Oh, yes! And I also got the squares here, um, if you didn't notice that when I was coming down here on the way here. But yeah, that is what the reactors look like when they are active. You might have also noticed that on the map screen, you'll see a little couple check marks at the upper left corner of the screen. Well, that's saying, did you get all the energy tanks? Check yes. Did you get all the missile tanks? This is, you know, like of each individual areas. As you can tell, I missed a couple of things in other areas. I'm not sure which ones they are, but I will see soon enough because as I go through the elevators to, uh, look through them, I'll be able to see directly on the map which ones that I missed. And when I seen 96% on uh, the thingajigger, I was like, huh, that, that seems lower than it should be. <laughs> so I must have missed something along the way, and it wasn't as complete of a map as I thought it was. Okay, Sector 1 is 100%ed. So, yeah, you could just basically check your map by seeing if there's check marks by the things and then just going back up the elevator to the next elevator until you find the spot that, I should say, that uh, sector that, you know, is not 100%ed quite yet. So I'm just gonna do so and then see you at the location when I finally find out which sector has something that I missed. Alright, at Sector 5, as you can see, Power bomb tank not acquired. I should say power bomb tanks all not acquired on the area because it's not it's not showing up on here. So that means I forgot something, and it was actually this thing right here. Remember, I said that there was a thing up here that yeah um, that I was gonna get later. Well, I forgot to get that later. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, it's, this is sort of like a puzzly type room, even though it's not really much of a puzzle. It's just basically a find your way through the thing and then power bomb the poop out of everything. <laughs> so you find your way over to the power bomb tank. And if you check your map, there we go. Now that is what a completed map looks like. And Sector 2 has the missing missile tank. Missing missile tank. That's kind of kind of a perfect word to add to each other. I don't know. <laughs> you know, they both sound relatively the same, but different meanings, and I'll forget about it. Let's just go up and go over to the spots that I'm thinking that it is. I'm thinking it's that spot that I said that I would go up to later, but I, I never was able... I mean, well, I was able to uh, later on, but, you know, I, I didn't go back to it. <laughs> the thing that was... Yep, this is it right here, right up here. And there is the missing missile tank. 
out of my way, please. Uh, I think there's something that you can bomb in here, actually, to get up there. Uh, up there it is. <laughs> but, you know, if you have your screw attack, there's no need to do that whatsoever. So this is what the actual Area 2, well, Sector 2 map looks like when it's completed. There we go. And that last one was really out of the way. I mean, because there's a door that's broken, uh, that's, like on the upper areas, you have, you have to take the whole lower route to get to that sucker, and it's just... Ugh, uh, <laughs> but I gotta say, I'm actually kind of glad that I forgot some stuff in some areas, because I wouldn't have been able to show... Oops, this is a wrong turn. I wouldn't have been able to show the, um, the other sorts of symbols on the map, like... You know, the energy tank, power bomb, and uh, missile tank silo check marks type things. So I wouldn't be able to show you them um, in their non checked off forms if I would 100 percent everything my uh, first run through here. Oh, and it's nice to see that there is some sort of checklist of sorts at all. Like, usually in games, they just have you search for things blindly. But no, they get, in this one they give you a general idea of where thingajiggers are hidden and whatnot, so very, very nice. I'm gonna save here just in case I... yeah. <laughs> just for the sake of safety. Back away! Back off! Alrighty, let's see that new ending now that we got all the collectibles. If there's any changes to it whatsoever. Just that, just this final image really that's different between endings, like even the best ending, so it's not really super special or anything like that. And yeah, even that's... Uh, okay, we got a little something different here. So yeah. <laughs> but it's still... Technically not the best, I believe. <laughs> Collecting rates, 100%! And that's all I was looking for here. Oh yeah! If you want to try and do the game faster, go right ahead and do so on your own time. But have the game well memorized and plan out your route so that you can do it in the fastest time possible. Also practice up on the bosses and whatnot. But for now, I'm going to end off this part here. There is going to be another extra thingajigger that I'd like to show, but it might take me a while to actually pull it off, so <laughs> I don't know when the extra video will be. But for now, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then!